Okay, so um, when you have synth one like this, uh, yeah, just playing a note. If you want to add a sound bank, so let's make a. I have a ton of them. If you want to add, say, this one, um, you have to put it in the folder. Well, it doesn't really matter where you put it, but I'll kind of put it where my synth one VST is. So um, in the new Windows, it's by default kind of it goes under. Um, C drive, program files, common files, VST2. Then I have a folder called synth, and then I'll put my presets here. So paste it. So now it's in here, but that doesn't mean that synth one recognizes where it is. So you have to go to options. And uh, these are kind of, I should overwrite these. Um, I don't think I can delete them. No. Um, but basically, I deleted them where they were. And so say if you have, imagine if this one was empty, you double click it, you find the folder it's in. So the VST since that's the sound bank I'm going to add, hit OK, close it. And then now, there it is. Now you can pick those, um, those presets. Now, if you've made your own sound, so, um, you know, whatever, just this is the initial sound, but say that you want to save, then you hit write, then uh, go to your own, whichever bank you want to save it in, like if that's your own, and then you have to find the empty slot, so every bank has 128 uh, slots, find an empty one, give it a name, if it's a base, you could call, color it red, a lead, maybe blue or whatever, um, and then just hit OK, save it there, and that's it.